Module 23, Fixing Apostrophe in Search Tags Fixing Apostrophe Issues Jack's Pink Supply Before we get started, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos from this channel. Also, subscribe and share. It will be helpful for the channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to easily fix the part V for the search text. Let's open up our access and go coding. Alright, let's open up our C drive. We are going to uh, all access projects folder and uh, let's make a copy of a uh, let's see make a copy of module 22 control C control V and let's see uh, let's rename this guy to 23 uh, uh, how about fix apostrophe uh, issue let's see fix apostrophe issue I think that's good enough Alright, let's go inside. Uh, so, we have an issue. Let's see, uh, let's see the issues here. Let's look at what issues do we have. Uh, oh, right here. Uh, Lorenzo said um, the uh, set keystroke function there is a problem with typing apostrophe so we're gonna fix that all right uh, that shouldn't be too hard let's close this out and um, let's go to module uh, let's open up the uh, is there a general function here? Uh, let's see. Let's see where we can put this function. We got product, image, identity, holiday, file function, form, name, uh, Excel. We don't have uh, we don't have general function here. Let's create a new one. A uh, general function would be something that we don't have place for, I guess. Uh, so we can call this general function. All right, and go ahead and control S, save the general function. So without looking at the uh, reporting, well, let's go ahead and look at the reporting. Right here, the keystroke. All right. Um, look for the uh, set up the uh, the search text, and that search text is sent to the query string. All right. The search text is sent to a query string to a where clause, and that where clause is important in the SQL. It does it it recognize the apostrophe. Uh, let me explain something before we go. Let's uh, let's open up this uh, company DB right here. Anytime the search text has apostrophe like this one right here, single quote, it thinks it's the end of the uh, query statement. All right. 
So if it's the end, then it misses the rest of them, and therefore it may be more or less uh, uh, query. So it breaks the query, and that's where the error happens. So to prevent that from happening, we need to double it up. All right, double the uh, quotation in any string that you pass in. So one way to do that is um, one way to do that. I think is um, uh, is um, easy. One one easy way to do is to call. Let's create a function to uh, uh, how about format. Apostrophe, apostrophe in string, like so, and then we just call text as string and return as string. Um, so what we want to do is wherever we see the, uh, we're gonna replace the uh, apostrophe with two apostrophes. Like, mm, like, uh, let me show you. So I'm gonna copy this uh, function name and do a replace. It's really easy stuff. And then as text, look, we are looking for um, apostrophe replace with two apostrophes, just like that. It's real nice and simple, real simple stuff. <laughs> so that means whatever you pass in, it will recognize it as apostrophe. That's it. So let's test this out. We have a... Yeah, let's test this out. We're going to open up all our test screen. Remember, you want to... Uh, use a test screen to uh, test your theory and I'm going to add a text right here um, right now it doesn't matter we're just going to go in there and um, and let's do this if me text uh, how about if not is oops is no then do this and here we are going to uh, say general function format apostrophe and then we're going to pass in our text box me text one all right let's double check on this uh, general function right here so yeah that looks good right there close that out and we want to display the new uh, the formatted one okay that's good all right let's uh Let's run that and we're going to enter something in there. Jack's box. Oh. Uh, N is no. There you go. All right. So see how we have two double quotes in there? Two single quotes. Not a, yeah, not a double quote two single quotes okay now that's good that's all we need <laughs> this real easy stuff all right so now we can uh, let's go into um, yeah let's open up all this uh, navigation and uh, we are going to go to let's see uh, let's go to admin how about customer um, Oh yeah, we need to fix this. See, see we got a bunch of customers here. This should be different. Alright. We gotta fix this one. Um 
yeah let's 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 fix this one all right let's fix that one we got customer customer here let's uh yeah let's fix that one glad we come in there it's a uh, sub form customer right here this would be company cuz uh you know this one could be no that should be a customer number oh i got you this is the customer customer company name right here all right paste that and then this would this would be customer uh, city state okay all right that's customer city state this is uh um call it location That's all we had to do because we had to modify uh, that file, remember, uh, a while back, not to, not that long ago, but it's, uh, yeah, let's go to there, that's better. So we are going to uh, uh, update these guys to with the pasta fees. Um, let's see. Let's uh let's look for something in here and we're gonna update one of these guys. Let's look at A Okay right here Pank Supply Uh Oh you know what we need to update something else too in the uh, customer order right here Let's go back in there. Since we updated this name right here, copy that name and go in the code. All right, there is no customer name here. So we're just going to replace customer name with customer company name. Uh Yeah, that's it. And then there is a uh, and then there is another <coughs> city state here. So we're going to add the uh, click event right there and copy the inside here, copy and put it in there. Control S, and that's all we need to do. Uh, remember we updated this field name, this column, and, and in the code we need to update is clicking event as well, which is this guy, all right, or double clicking. Oh, let's change that one to double click. DBL. Control S. And close the subform. Let's try that again. Let's go to admin, customer. Uh, yeah, pen supply. Oops. Uh, right here, it said I don't like it, why is that, I don't know, oh, maybe it needs this, That's better. So we will going to go to pen supply right here. Uh, you see what I did there in the uh, code? Uh, I had left out this guy right here. Cancel as signature. All right. So just add that one as well. Now, uh, pen supply. Well, let's update that guy to. Uh, how about Jacks? Pen supply. All right, save. Now you see how I have an that guy right there. Right now it will bark if I send in jacks. All right, so let's search for jacks. See there. 
That is the query string, as I mentioned earlier. And you say, hey, wait a minute. You just ended, you just terminated your 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 query string there. All right, and it's it's not in the format that the uh, SQL wants. All right, so we're going to stop that. Here's how you fix it. You go to the uh, report, reporting, oops, uh, reporting, not report type, reporting. I clicked on the wrong one. In the uh, search string, right here, the key, right? In the search string, and, um, and so to fix that, all we have to do is here in the uh, key set stroke is um, we're going to add the function, all right? We're going to use that function to format our string, like so. And then here, we're just going to say general function, similar to the first one, all right? Format, and then close it out. That's it. Control S. Now, let's get back to this guy. We had issues with the with this guy right here, all right? Jack's Pink Supply. Now we can just go in there and say Jack's. See there? And that will work. And that's all you have to do, see? And then you can use the uh, apostrophe, all right? So that's uh, that's real easy uh, fix. And um, so you can uh, apply, you don't have to do it. Uh, apply it to every single um, query that you set in. All you have to do is just pass in the uh, set keystroke right there, and that's it. You fix it in one place, and it works throughout. All right. So if let's see, uh, that was customer. How about products? All right. Uh, let's see. We're gonna update this guy. We're going to update one of these guys in the product. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's double, yeah, let's update this guy. All right. So we're going to update and change his name to Jack's Mountari. Save. All right, so now you see how we updated it. So now, all you have to do is just type in like so. And put a positive in there. Won't bark at you now. All right, so just by fixing this uh, bit right here, it, it fixes in all queries that we have in here. All right, this guy is right here, search the search all the search here and that is you know that is how you that is how you uh code you want to be able to fix that one place and it applies to all other ones even this guy all right even this guy uh let's see where else wherever you see the search like right here same same way wherever you see the search all right it's um it's going to uh fix it Okay, see the Jack's supply. So if you type in, let's see, you type in uh, paint. You will not have paint. We got paint. But see if you type in Jack's, see there? And how about J apostrophe? It won't bark at you. It sees it right there. All right. So that's a quick one. Very easy fix for that one. And if you find any issues with this uh, CMS that we've been coding, just um, comment it and I'll fix it for you. It shouldn't be too hard. All right. Happy programming. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit that bell. And also comment below and if you need help, inbox me. Thanks again.